Welcome to Beer and Board Games, folks. How many games are we going to be playing today? Just one. Just One is a party game involving creative guessing. I wonder if you can guess what I'm about to drink right now. Well, I don't have to guess because I have it right here, Matt. It's called Phone Home Imperial Stout with peanut butter and cocoa nibs. Oh, God. What did you do? Ah, uh, you know, I figured... Peanut uh, butter what? beer... You fucking moron. We're quarantined. Might as well try something fun. You got quite a head there. This is the beer's fault. Oh, it tastes like peanut butter, all right. My sink drain will enjoy it as I'm pouring it down there. You can get this inside you, Matt. Come on. I bet you heard that a lot in college, didn't you? The standards of this show have just sunk. They've sunk at least an inch. So Just One was sent to us by some very special folks, and they sent a message that says, Hope this package finds you and all the Blame Society folks well. I thought this game could be doable in the new beer and board games situation. Ralph and Becky. Thanks, Ralph and Becky. Now, I've given all of you a little stack of cards that I personally delivered to your house. Also with this game is a stand and a marker. The active player draws the top card of the deck without looking at it and places it in front of themselves so that everyone else can see it, but they can't. The player then chooses a number between one to five and tells the other players which mystery word they have to provide a clue for. Without communicating with each other and without showing it to anyone, each player writes one clue on their easel. That clue must be composed of a single word. The other players turn their easels around and compare their clue with the other players. All identical or invalid clues are canceled. Ask the active player to open their eyes and try to guess the mystery word with the help of the remaining clues. And they're only allowed one guess. I'm going to choose number four. Closed. They're all legit, right? Yeah. I'm going to guess hummus. No, there's no hummus in tabbouleh. The correct answer was couscous. Oh, damn. I don't think I would have got that. Between the three of those, you should have got that. That's not on us. I'm going to pick number one. I like this game. It's a fun Zoom game. Exactly. They were right. They were absolutely right about that. Okay, Matt, close your eyes. Okay. Oh, ooh, ooh, yeah. I like ooh, I this. like that combo. This is good. Like okay, we've got a chance here. Take a peek. Fox. Yes! Yes! Woo! Those cards, uh, we, we keep them. Keep them! Now this is a game, folks! Number four. All right. Damage, so syringe. Surgery. Mm. What was it? Needle. I thought somebody would say haystack. Damage was the worst one. Shut up. You don't know Neil Young, you slut. Damage was a stupid clue. Yeah, why didn't you think about it more, Dylan? Because you said damage. What does that mean? Damage. Because damage was so out of left field. Most people don't have Neil Young lyrics constantly moving no, in the was... Number one. What's valid? Oh, these are all valid. This is good. Okay. Holiday pumpkin treat. It's got to be Halloween. Yes! Oh. So, Aaron, you couldn't think of any Halloween-themed Neil Young songs that you could quote? What's your number? I'll go five. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. This is. I, a... I would like to be awarded this... most cooperative. Here's your clues, Matt. Cookie. Yes! Yes, yes! This game is awesome. You got to work with each other. You got to work with each other. You gotta 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 work with each other. You've got to work with each other. <laughs> You've got to work with each other. You've got to work with each other. You've got to work with each other. Two. Number two. 
It's got to be us. Oh, I have to get it exactly right, though. Australians. You idiot. How's that not right? Ah, you, it's Australia. But it said Aborigines. Tony went a little weird there, but it fit. You overthought it, and now you fucked us. Dylan's smoking freely. I don't like doing this remotely anymore. Yeah, here in America, they don't cost $25 a pack. Don't you mean here in Americans? <laughs> Four? Tony, hey, don't look. look. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Okay, you only get one clue. Uh, tulips. Yes! Uh, what? That was it. Oh, my God, that's a point. That's no, a point. no, no, it wasn't. Yes! It was. Yes. <laughs> How did you guess that? How? Because that's the only thing Holland does. I quit. It's over. I retire. You gotta tell us the logic. Holland is famous for tulips. You don't know this because you're a dummy. You're a dummy. Maybe you're a dummy. Maybe I, I know about the Holland tulips. Tony. Tony Tulip. <laughs> is it your turn, Tony? No, it's your turn, Dylan. This is a good game. Who invented this game? Your mother. My mama? You know, obviously the quarantine is, is a great tragedy and we haven't even seen the worst of it yet. A week from now, a thousand people a day will be dying and, 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 and then people you know will be contracting it and perhaps dying and it's hey, really gonna Tony, be let's keep it light, huh? Yeah, seriously, Tony. It's what a comedy show. It's a comedy show. I may get cabin fever, but right, but right now I am loving this. I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to see anybody. I don't have to do anything. It's just me and Karen and the pets. Thousands of people a day will die. All your loved ones are going to die. But I'm loving the quarantine. I get to be here with the dog and such. Karen and so forth. <laughs> there will be stacks of bodies in the street, people. But I'm having a wonderful time with snacks. It's at this point in the show when we toast patrons on patreon.com slash beer and board games who have bought us a beer. Or in my case, a glass of wine, because the beer was a disaster. And we toast them right now, including Michael F. Sloth Jr. Shannon Catherine. Miss you. Cheers. I'll pick a number I haven't picked yet. Uh, four. You got this, Matt. It's super it's easy. Old, but that's okay. Language. Yes. Yeah. This game is fun. It is a bit easy. How do we make it harder? If somehow someone could pick the hardest one on the card. Okay, that's an interesting idea, but not for my turn, because I'm hashtag I'm a dummy. I'm sorry that I said mean things to you. It's too late. I've already been harmed. If I may quote from my latest episode of Welcome to the Basement, some things are said in the heat of the moment, but nothing is said in the heat of the sun. The hard one is five, let's face it, right? I'm so dumb. I'm such a dummy. There's a European chocolate that is uh it's it's uh it's spreadable like a spreadable chocolate <clears throat> spreadable you idiot just guess the most obvious one <laughs> waffles can only suggest either nutella or belgian but i'm gonna go with belgian no what? it was belgium and you fucked up with the syntax it was belgium yeah oh come on no no we don't get that all right whose turn is it yours what oh never mind they hired me at the bodega. I've stolen so many things from that place. And now they're paying me. Isn't that good, though? Good for me. I got fired from my... I got, I got fired from Grubhub. <laughs> you worked for Grubhub? That's right. I delivered the grub. Too many people got sick. But that shit ain't my fault. I'm asymptomatic. Well... Cookie, that means that you probably got a lot of people sick. Whatever. Terrible. Now I'm working at the bodega, keeping that toilet paper in stock. Every time I put some out, it gets snatched up. People sneaking into the bodega saying, where did toilet paper? Who snatches it up? Yeah, who's snatching it up? The people in the neighborhood. They need to wipe so much, they swiping and wiping. Is that like creeping and peeping? Yeah, but it's more intimate. <laughs> swiping and wiping in the time of the corona that sounds like a folk song swiping and wiping in the time of the corona meanwhile life goes on at the bodega we stocking them frijoles the goya beans boy in the cell phones how do you stock all that stuff i mean the shelves are really tall 
I leap. <laughs> oh. I got powerful thighs. Are you creeping and leaping? I am creeping and leaping. <laughs> That's the only way you can keep up with swiping and wiping. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tony Trout's about to die. Wait, who's Tony? Yeah. <laughs> That's something we ask ourselves every day. Who's Tony? He got theories about strange genes. Tony Trout's a goddamn skeptic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, this has been fun, but my lunch break is almost over. I gotta get back to the bodega. Can you hold some swipes and wipes for us? I'm afraid I can't. Then don't come. Don't come back then. Don't bother coming back next time, Cookie. <laughs> you can't keep me away. Blondie loves me. <laughs> if you bring me wipes. She wants wipes. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll bring some loose wipes. Okay. Oh, loose wipes. All right. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Adios. All four of our backgrounds are completely appropriate to who we are. <laughs> we have a sword over here. Behind me is DVDs and media. Behind Dylan is flags. And then behind Tony is all that business. Tony has ideas behind him. <laughs> when you go to patreon.com slash beer and board games, there are lots of great re reward levels. One of them will allow you to have a gift sent to one of your favorite beer and board games guests. That's happening right now. Is it for me? From Jonathan Hart? So did you pick this gift up for yourself? No. Courtney got it. It's a coffee mug. It has some sort of weeds on it. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> we saw that before you did. It's a cunt mug. Oh, please wait a minute, Mr. Cunt Mug. Way, yay, 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 Mr. Cunt Mug. Mr. Cunt Mug, look and see. Ooh, yeah. What's in your mug for me? Three would be difficult. He might not even know. Oh, he would get three. Let's do five. All right, five it is. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, we might have this. Carnage, Sylvester, Solo. Please. Rambo. Yes! <laughs> hey, before we go on, oh, no. I just want to say I love you guys. What if you just made that up? <laughs> Folks, we had a good time tonight. Sometimes it, like, isn't good at, at differentiating verbs and at nouns. I learned that it, uh, it's not differentiate in the verbs and the, uh, nouns. And I learned I'm a differentiate in verbs and in nouns. <laughs> we hope that you can differentiate uh, with the verbs and the nouns. And that you'll join us next Thursday because we'll have another episode of Beer and Board Games. This quarantine will not shut us down. Never. We Never. will keep bringing you comedy every week. And we hope that you'll join us. And we wish you the best. And we will see you soon. Good night. A ding, ding, ding. Sailor Jerry is kicking my ass. Sailor Jerry is kicking my ass. Sailor Jerry is kicking my ass. Put it up, put it up. Woo! People at a party. Drinking Sailor Jerry. Somebody went under a rock. There they saw Sailor Jerry. Wasn't Sailor Jerry.